Have you ever wondered why we haven't found aliens, or aliens haven't found us, and at the time, we have nothing but theories? And these theories can range from all alien planets have accidentally self-destructed, or maybe they're hiding from something that's listening, and we're making too much noise looking for them. Hey, so this video is about the separate theories on why we haven't found aliens, and I just want to say if you have anything that you disagree with me on, please put in the comments, I love to have a discussion, but I'll let you get on with the video. The Fermi Paradox, which basically means if the universe is infinite and there's probably life out there somewhere, why haven't we found it? So there's all these different theories that are supposed to be possible answers for it, and that's what we're going to be going over. They're kind of going to get weirder and stranger as we go on. So let's get into it. Far away theory. This theory is the idea that we are unbelievably far away, and that reaching alien life is just almost impossible. And the fact that on adds on to this is the universe is expanding. Ba and not in the way you would think. Imagine a half-blown-up balloon, so still round, but not fully blown up to the max. And there are two microscopic people on that balloon, and you start blowing more air into the balloon. It would The balloon would expand and get bigger, but from the POV of the two people, it just looks like they're moving away. And that's, that's kind of what's happening with the universe. And we have evidence to show that everything is moving farther and farther away, basically slowly. So even if alien life is far away, it gets, it gets further away constantly. And the longer time it goes on, the farther it gets apart. So we could already be too late to find alien life if it's already too far away. Early bird theory. The early bird theory suggests that we may not just be the first planet to have life on it. The idea is we're not technically alone, we're just the first, so at the moment, there's no other life. And it may be in a billions of years, eventually, aliens may start popping up because there is, there would there would be a first alien species or first planet with life on it and we could just be that which is kind of strange and a bit depressing to think about there are two other theories that are small enough and similar enough that i decided to lump them together the first is an unnamed theory that states that alien life could exist, but it does not yet have the amount of technology as we do, meaning they can't contact us. This also leads into the idea that aliens may just be microbes right now, and we are the first to evolve, evolve into anything else. The last theory I want to lump in here is the Rare Earth Theory, which states that the combination of events that led to our creation is, are so rare that it could take trillions of years before alien life forms. This also is added on to the fact that a large amount of the galaxy can't support life due to there being massive voids, many, many planets not inside a habitable zone, and planets with straight up burning ice. That's a real thing, the planet Gulea's 432b is coated in ice that catches on fire and burns. So you can see why it would be a bit hard for um, life to start existing in a lot of other places. The Great Silence Theory. This is by far the most depressing theory. It is the idea that we are entirely and utterly alone in the universe because there is a possibility that we are alone. Even though the universe is infinite and always expanding, there is just the extremely, extremely rare chance that maybe there are no aliens. Maybe somehow, just by luck, uh, there is nothing. Self-Destruction Theory the Great Destruction Theory is about the idea that almost every alien planet will have a species that eventually kills everything on it. A way to think about this is like global warming, where we did a lot of stuff that, if we didn't stop it or don't try to stop it, may end in everything on the planet being dead or completely destroyed. 
So, kind of makes sense. What if aliens have existed, but they've just accidentally caused themselves to go extinct? The Great Filter Theory is an idea that every single alien species must go through these nine steps, and every single step is extremely hard to pass, meaning most species either get stuck or die out before reaching step nine, which is colonizing or exploring large amounts of space. Now this is a possible theory, there have been arguments against it, but as I'm just talking about the different theories, I'm not going to go into those too much. But, you probably are wondering what the nine steps are. They are... Number one, have a suitable environment like a planet that they can actually live and develop on. Two, have reproductive molecules, for example, an RNA. Three, evolve simple, single-celled life. Four, evolve complex, single-celled life. Five, sexual reproduction. 6. Multi-cell life. 7. Tool using animals with some level of intelligence. 8. A civilization that is gaining the possibility of colonizing space. This is currently the step we are on, so hopefully we don't wipe ourselves out before step 9. Then step 9 is colonize or travel throughout vast amounts of space. Not life as we know it theory. The not life as we know it theory follows the idea that alien life could be so vastly different that we may not even understand it or be able to comprehend it. The theory also raises the question that if that is true, then couldn't there be aliens everywhere? And this is actually a pretty logical theory because there's a lot of things to think about. Because the only basically basis for what we know life to be like is us. So, like, aliens or other life could be completely different. Zoo Theory Zoo Theory states the idea of what if aliens are watching us. The, usual, the idea usually follows two paths. Either people speculate that the aliens are purely watching us, or are experimenting on us. The second idea is an offshoot called the laboratory theory, but I'll get into that in a minute. The theory is the idea that aliens purposefully avoid contact so they don't disrupt things like evolution and growing, the growing society and culture of humans on Earth. Just like how humans will try their best to watch and observe animals without changing or affecting anything. This is a mildly plausible cause for why we've not found alien life, because it would not only give an incentive to why we haven't found aliens, and why aliens haven't found us, or at least look for us, and it could be possible. The other offshoot of the theory, the laboratory theory, is a theory that states aliens could be waiting till humans reach a certain technological or ethical point before they would contact us. This would also be somewhat strange to the fact that it would also mean the aliens would have some kind of moral or ethical thing that they would want us to get to, which could be completely different than what we think is moral or ethical. Also, there's ideas that they could be just slightly changing things or adding random stuff to our environment, which would most likely be just the entire solar system or a larger area, to try and figure things out. It, hu if this is true, humans could be the same as just microbes in a petri dish. So, we have truly no idea. Dark Forest Theory. The Dark Forest Theory is a theory that basically the reason aliens do not want to contact anyone else is in the fear of being killed. This idea comes from a thought experiment, which is if you know you would kill to survive, there's a high chance others would do so. And if you're in a forest with some way of contacting people, why would you? You know that they could kill you, and that's generally a good reasoning for staying and not trying to contact people. The Dark Forest Theory makes a lot of sense. Why would you endanger yourself trying to find others when you can stick to knowing what dangers there are and surviving from those? This could make sense as a theory and gives a lot of reasoning for why aliens would not want to find us. 
incubation theory. So, we're going to be ending this off with a strange, strange theory. Incubation theory is slightly similar to the zoo theory that we discussed earlier, but this theory is the idea that aliens just find civilization and contain them, like zoo theory, but instead of just observing them, they begin to influence humans. Kind of like laboratory theory, but instead they change our evolution in society to be something that they want. Um, it's kind of, in none of the theories, it's never really specified what aliens would want with humans and changing them genetically or socially, but it's kind of a weird theory. That's why I wanted to talk about this one very last, because it's the single most strange one. So, you made it to the end of the video. And if you're a returning viewer on my channel, you'll probably know that I took a month-long break from making videos due to a lot of stress. And now this may have been shorter, I'm working on making longer and longer videos. So I hope you'll enjoy this longer kind. I'm trying to work up until my videos are about like 45 minutes long, and I produce them in a month. But of course, as I'm still starting out on YouTube, I don't really know how to do things like this so effectively. So it would really help if you could subscribe and it would know it would show me that you like this type of content and want me to keep making it. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.